Hi, in this video we will discuss about containers when it comes to Azure AI services. So first of all, let us understand containers. What is container? So whenever you deploy any software service, it must be hosted in an environment that provides you hardware, operating systems and supporting runtime components on which your service depends. Now we know that Azure AI services are provided as a cloud service in which the service software is hosted in your Azure data center. And Azure data center provides the underlying runtime services, operating systems and hardware. But you can also deploy your Azure AI services in a container, which actually encapsulates the necessary runtime components. Okay. And it is in turn deployed in a container host that provides your underlying OS and hardware. So first of all, let us understand how containers helps us when it comes to Azure AI services. So let's take an example. Let's say you have an application, a SQL server on premise and you want to consume Azure AI service wherein you will be uh, sending your data onto your Azure AI service. So in order to avoid passing certain sensitive data from your on premise on to cloud, you can use make use of containers. So containers will help you to enable your uh, uh, enable you to you to host your Azure AI services on premises. You can also uh, host on Azure using containers. So containers helps to improve performance because you will be uh, uh, having no latency when it comes to uh, uh, your uh, uh, communication between your service and your local data. Because both your AI service and your data will be present in the same network. So now we understand container is something which encapsulates your application or your service and its components, its runtime components and abstracting the underlying OS and hardware, which will be provided by a particular container host on which you will be deploying your container. So this helps for efficient deployment and isolation of your applications. Containers can run on different OS or hardware. So this helps for easy application migration. And you can host multiple containers on a single host uh, and each of these container can have their own runtime configurations. So you can quickly move your applications and dif dependencies between different environments. And it helps container helps uh, uh, to encapsulate all your underlying runtime so that you can have your own runtime configuration. Right? You need not have a common runtime. So you can have multiple applications running side by side because your runtime is not dependent. And how is container uh, deployed? It is encapsulated in an image which will actually define a particular software and the configuration uh, for that particular software. And where are all these images located? So you can have a Docker hub as your central repository of these images. You can also maintain the images in your organization's registry. Okay. So here I just wanted to give you brief about containers. So we have containers in itself a very big topic. So when it comes to Azure AI service, it is just important to understand that we can consume Azure AI service via containers. Now let us see what are the three different steps that when it comes to container deployment process. So this is the common step and it is same for Azure AI service also. You will be pulling the container images. Okay. And these images will be present in some registry such as Docker hub or your custom registry in your organization. And then you define any required settings for your container. Okay, it's so like environment variables, network configurations. And once you have specified the configurations, you will be deploying the container in the container host. So basically you will be transferring that container image to the host for execution. So it can be your local computer, the host can be a local computer or any cloud based server. 
so we will see these three steps when we actually do the lab how we can make use of these uh, steps and uh, host our azure ai service using containers about azure ai service containers some specifications about azure ai service containers so as i have told in previous uh, video we will be first pulling the azure ai uh, service image from the registry and we deploy the container image to the host and then your client app sends the data to the container instance and receive the response from the container instance itself so if you see here we have two way communication between your application and the container so now if you see your as your ai service is image is somewhere in the cloud you are just pulling that image and deploying onto the host this host can be on your local computer as well but if you see here the data that you are sending and the response that you are receiving is from the container it it's not somewhere from the cloud okay so this is how the communication happens when you deploy your azure ai service as part of your container now what is this step 3 this is the usage metrics required for billing are sent to azure ai services resource in azure so even though you are deploying your uh, is your ai image onto container and consuming the service from there you will be creating a azure ai resource onto azure also so this is basically required for calculating your billing for for checking your metrics your usage metrics all that usage metrics and billing data from container is sent to cloud onto azure okay so what does this mean that you don't have any communication on to cloud but but still container will be communicating with as your ai service in the cloud for metrics okay so uh, when it comes to configuration when you deploy your as your ai service container image to host there these are the three settings that you must specify so what is your api key API key is the key from your deployed Azure AI service. So as I told you that in cloud you will be creating an Azure AI service. So the API key that will be generated, so the two keys will be generated. Any of the key you can use, and you need to specify while creating your container, while you deploying your container con uh, uh, image in your container host. That time you have to specify certain configuration. So in that configuration you need to mention this API key. and then you mentioned billing so this is the endpoint uri from your deployed azure ai service so under billing you need to specify the endpoint of your deployed azure ai service in the cloud and then you have something called eula which is the value of accept to state you accept the license of the container here you need to specify accept so which means that you accept the license of the container so now if you uh, uh, understood this diagram and then the configuration that we specify it clearly uh, reflects that client applications will be utilizing the containerized endpoint so endpoint which container will expose client application will communicate using that endpoint and there will be no subscription key required for authentication okay authentication you can implement using your own custom solutions if required otherwise uh, con you as container is on your uh, local host itself let's say then no authentication will be required and you will not have any communication on to cl cloud container will be communicating with the cloud ai service so i think it is clear now we will see in the lab how to deploy and how our application will be consuming the azure ai service using containerized endpoint thank you